Hi, Denise here, facing the cult again. The cult being the anti-cult people, the vigilantes at the Rick Ross Institute. Um, they have reached new levels of mind-boggling, uh, sinister um, evil lately. Um, today I logged on just to notice that they seem to be having some kind of drug party. Uh, Brian Birmingham posting as Zeuser is attacking the McKay family. He's extended his murderous, uh, fully obsessed hatred for Dave McKay out to the whole family. Um, their new little fledgling augur, agur, or whatever, however you would pronounce it, A-G-U-R, a biblical word for prophet, interestingly enough, um, it makes it pretty clear he was recruited, uh, apparently recruited specifically to attack me. And he addresses me there. Um, but they're, they're, they started out with Zeuser, Ryan Birmingham, expanding his murderous assault from Dave McKay to the entire family. Auger coming in and saying, no, you know, we've got to focus. And Rick Ross coming in and saying, do not attack the entire McKay family. However, in this entire little drug party they're having, I mean, when you read it, they're using language. It, it's just like you, you can almost smell the smoke, I swear. Um, it's, it looks like that in the, in the uh, forum. And they're attacking the Johnson family. They're attacking Joe Johnson, who is a young African-American recruit taken from California. And he joined the Jesus Christians in California under what looked like very bad circumstances. Fox News libeled everybody with their incredibly false report. And considering what they're doing to the Cheyenne Irish family now up in New Hampshire, believe me, they are, the Fox News is the devil's own, along up there with the rest of the mass media. But this isn't about them. This is about Rick Ross and the race war he's trying to start. Right now they're attacking the entire Johnson family. Now the story with that is, Joe Johnson joined the, the Jesus Christians. His family, being egged on by the anti-cult vigilantes with all the crazy false information, went into a full attack to try to get their son back. That was five years ago. They've been openly talking to each other in the forum. This is how the Jesus Christians manage their relationships. They, they're all out there wide open in their forum. And you can argue as to how much control Dave McKay has or doesn't have, but it's no different than any other group of people. And they're clearly intelligent people talking to each other in there. So now the Rick Ross is attacking Sheila Johnson, Jared Johnson, every member of the Johnson family, because they appear to be coming to some kind of rapprochement, some kind of rapport with their son and with the Jesus Christians. And this is not going to be allowed by the fine white men of the Rick Ross Institute. No, they're supposed to manage other people's religions. They're supposed to manage other people's beliefs. Now they can go ahead and attack me and call my videos insane all they want. This is Little Rose speaking. Yes, indeed. That's what I post as. Um, but really, uh, this is way beyond... Uh, the pale of anything that should be allowed. There are a hundred thousand reasons why the Rick Ross Institute should lose its 501 status. It is being used as a profit-making thing. It, it, it clearly, Rick Ross is profiting off of the victimization of these families. The Jesus Christians, the only thing they're doing to instigate this kind of hatred is number one, they cross race lines. And now Rick Ross 
and his white vigilantes are attacking the Johnson family out there in California because they're feeling like, well, the Johnsons need their white master's permission to make peace with their son. Just like Dave McKay needed the white master's permission to start recruiting black folks into his little church organization. There's the key right there. The Jesus Christians are standing up to racism. They're standing up to greed. Their human foibles are no different from anyone else's. Cherry McKay is a heroine. She is real hero because she stood up to the, the, the family that they keep trying to associate Dave McKay with. And the story came out recently that Cherry McKay is the one who said the Jesus Christians are not going to be part of the uh, Mosesburg family situation where they have all that sexual uh, recruitment going on. She's the one who put her foot down and said, my family is a Christian family. Dave McKay was following her lead when he established that the Jesus Christians were going to have a moral backbone. And that's what scares the absolute heck. I, well, I wanted to say it scares the hell out of Ross. It scares, it just scares Ross. It scares him into being evil. It scares him into doing nothing but, but headhunting, predatory behavior. Alice Walker out there in Australia is, is cozying up with these people from the Nick Croft hate site. And Those two websites have nothing in their purpose except to hate and hunt people. And I'm putting this video up to just say something's got to be done. That Black Hat, Verite Evangeline, Nick Croft, Rick Ross, Zeuser, Ager, Apollo, who, who uh, masqueraded as a troll into the Jesus Christians, trying to bust up there for them. You know, maybe it's time to start looking at denial of service charges against the Rick Ross group because they orchestrate disruption of other people's discussions. They orchestrate disruption of forums. They orchestrate slander and libel against families. Alienation of affection. Let's have some families out there. Go back over the years. How many families never recovered from having had a single conversation with the Rick Ross Institute and allowing... She was posting, she and Black Hat together were posting really sick snide things to each other and Verite Evangeline who uses the name Susan Smith Summers um, posted emails around to people claiming to that be my vicious friend. predator Rick Ross to smell the blood of a broken relationship and to bring his wolf pack in to destroy any possibility you'd ever heal. Let's have some alienation of, of affection lawsuits against Rick Ross. Let's pull the government backing out from under him. We really need to do something to protect Americans' right to follow any religious group we want to follow. Because anyone who's breaking the laws, there are laws that can be held against them. If the Jesus Christians were, were somehow dangerous, there's a million laws you could use against them. You don't have to hunt people down with hatred and predatory hatred, which is nothing, which is, which is all that they're doing. And I'm making an appeal to everyone out there. Let's put a stop to Rick Ross Institute. Let's pull the government backing out from under him. Let's, let's insist that the government do something to distance itself and, and yank its support away from him. Let's see that these predators get the legal consequences that they deserve for libeling families and individuals, for putting people in fear of their lives. Anita Walker shares responsibility with her friend Brian Birmingham for putting the McKays in fear for their lives. We need to do something to protect freedom of belief, freedom of speech, and freedom of association in the United States. And, and that means reaching out to these folks that are getting... down all over the place no matter where they go it's not right to allow them to allow people like Anita Walker and Verity Evangeline who's who, the one who
claims Susan Smith Summers as her name. Dave McKay described as dancing on my daughter's grave when my it's daughter... It's not right to allow them to use foreign grounds to come in and attack our people here. And people say the borders are coming down. Well, when the borders come down, we'll be meeting face to face. But right now, America is still America. And these people need to stop. And, and Rick Ross needs to be answer to the American people for what he's done, for the, for the 80 deaths in Texas that he's responsible for, the Branch Davidian massacre. He set that up. He is setting up the McKays for something similar. And now he's setting up the Johnsons as well because it appears that they may be making peace over the conflict that Rick Ross was profiting from? What's the value of a minute on Fox News? Put a monetary value on that. That's just one part of what Rick Ross took at the expense of the Johnson family and the expense of the McKay family and the other Jesus Christians' own peace of mind. Every single time he does that, put a monetary value on it. And let's pull the rug out from under that predatory institute. And that's all I have to say about it today. But I'll be back. I promise.